The mihi anima stretta Give me souls, take away the rest. Father Genpo, STB. We are now in the 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And the message of our celebration through our readings is presenting as a very wonderful thing. No, we are being reminded of what God can do to us. No, the main reason why God wished to remind us of His presence in us. Malinaw na malinaw po sa atin through our first reading. We are being presented here a reminder of what God can do to us. And that is healing from our wounds and giving us life. And this is being presented also very clearly in our gospel for today. Taken from the gospel of Mark chapter 5 verse 21 to 43. Na pinakita po dito that our God is the God of healing. He can heal all our wounds, not only physically, but may, maybe also emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And if God is with us, He can bring back the life in us. No, Maybe because of our woundedness, because of our sins, because of our failures, because of all the negative things in us, we feel dead. Wala na pong buhay ang ating buhay. There's no reason of living. Wala na po nagpapasigla sa atin. There's no purpose in living. That's why the Lord is presenting to us Himself. If there is something in you dying, needed to be healed, dumudugo ka because of these things. God is there. God is willing to heal you and to remove that woundedness in you and let you feel once again the life, the gift of life that He has given to you. Kasi po, in our gospel for today, there's two events that happen. Jairus, who asked the Lord to heal no, yung kanyang anak. And the other one is the woman who is experiencing bleeding for so many years. And God is presenting to us. You might be carrying so much burden for so many years now. Na pagod na pagod ka na at talagang sugat na sugat ka na. At wala ka ng ibang matakbuhan. And this is the second message is being presented to us. In times of troubles, in times of pain, kanino tayo tumatakbo? Because in our gospel, tumakbo sila kay Jesus. And they put their trust in Him. And because of that faith that they have put to the Lord, they have gained healing. They have gained life. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the message. God is willing to heal our woundedness, maybe because of our sins, not physically, but spiritually, emotionally, mentally. And maybe we are dying because of this. God is just waiting for us to approach Him and give this request of ours. Kasi in our first reading, this is the purpose why He is here. To bring us all these things to us. Two things. In times of troubles, in times of pain, in times of death in us, kanina tayo tumatakbo. Hari nawa, tumatakbo tayo sa ating Panginoon. And have faith, a strong faith, that this power of Him will be yours. Kaya po napakaganda po na sinabi ng Panginoon, Talit ako. Tumayo ka. Because I have already given you life. And pasingit lang po. Napakaganda po ng sinabi sa dulo. At bigyan niya siya ng makakain. As Catholics, Christians, we find the strength of healing the woundedness in us and find the strength to live our life 
through the Eucharist. Through the Eucharist, we find life and healing. And the Lord said, give him something, give her something to eat. As we journey in this life, let us eat the gift of God, the Eucharist, his body, to give us strength, to give us healing, to give us life. So once again, my dear friends, God bless us all.